Right, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips and this one is an absolute belter and guaranteed to save you shots. It's a tip that is passed down from the world's number one golf coach and it's how we can get so much more consistent with a certain part of our game using a very unusual method. So one of the biggest issues we have as average golfers is we just don't hit enough greens in regulation and that means at some point we're going to be relying on something like this with a uh, short shot requirement to save our up and down or save our score at least and it can make a massive difference to how you finish your round of golf and so many of us struggle with consistency in this area. So first of all what we're going to do is highlight what are the three areas that are potentially causing you major problems and where does that inconsistency come from well the first thing is this bottom half it's the moving of legs it's swaying it's all those kind of things that produce an inconsistent strike the next thing is this front left arm a lot of us can start to bend get it steep hack down and that again can cause a major problem and the third and final one is a lot of people get very wristy when they're looking at wedge shots or short game shots wherever you want to refer to them as and start to let the club head overtake their hands and often blading one through the back the question is how do we eradicate all of those three problems and what we're looking to do is quite simply stabilize the bottom half get that left arm straight and then finally make sure that we manage to maintain those wrists through that impact location so that we've not got that flippy action the question is, what does a drill look like and how is it guaranteed to make sure that you stop doing all of those three? Now, the only place I have ever seen this adopted is by Matt Fitzpatrick, and it's basically left hand low for a right handed player in terms of on the grip when you're looking to execute a chip. And that's as simple as that. That's all you're going to do is you're going to swap your hands down, left hand low, and then you're going to swing pretty much as normal but there's a couple of key things that eradicate the moves that we were having issues with the first one being that left hand hand or left arm rather buckling in any way from our traditional kind of grip if we switch this round what this makes sure is we keep our lead arm very much straight throughout that swing once you get a little bit of rhythm and timing into that, what you make sure that you do is that uh, there's a consistency in terms of the returning to the uh, impact location. So that's the first thing in terms of consistency. The second thing that it does is you grip with your left hand low, right hand takes its normal position then in exchange and you tuck your right elbow in very much into this sort of underneath the ribs area. Well, what that does is simply it encourages a little bit of rotation. So all you're doing is you're keeping that elbow tucked in and hopefully what you can see is I'm eradicating a lot of upper body movement other than a nice rotation. When I mean upper body, there's no swaying, it's a rotation around my body and that left uh, right elbow tucked in allows me to do that. And they are two very much natural positions that you will automatically adopt just by switching your grip around. So there's nothing happening there. And then that third one was the legs themselves, again, moving, removing that kind of movement out. And again, it's just the same thing, really. It's just the, um, the rotation that we start to get in the swing as opposed to swaying. Now then, they're all the positives. What I want you to do is see me hit some shots. Now, what you'll see is a number of shots that I effectively thinned. So the question you should be asking yourself right now is, and why are you showing us a tip that effectively looks as though it does not work? Well, after a little bit of work and an understanding of something that was missing from the initial tip that I watched, and that's where my hands are placed in terms of uh, my stance, then I started to work things out. And even then, it took a little bit of understanding and practice, but what I will say is once I'd got the final piece of the jigsaw for me at least worked out, it became a very effective and trustworthy method. And that is quite simply, my normal stance with a grip would be, my hands would be quite low. So if I was in my normal position, my hands would be quite low and sort of very much in my groin area, if you like, would be my natural position. 
What I found with is if I tried to adopt that position with this grip, this stance, whatever you want to call it, it just did not work at all. And what I had to do was get in a very much more upright position in terms of hands, club, head, everything stood up a lot more vertical. Now what that allowed me to do was all of a sudden change, as you've seen, in terms of first of all, there was a complete change in uh, how comfortable I felt in being able to execute the swing. So trust me, without that element, at least for me, I would have never got a ball off the ground. And when I've done that, I'm safe to say that the improvements were massive. Um, so much so that we're gonna hit this one with the camera on and I'm gonna try and explain what I did. So feet very much together. We've got a 30 yard little sort of chip shot. My concentration is keeping that elbow tucked in rotate and rotate and as you can see that should release out that might be the best one we've hit not quite got it there but as you can see it's a nice crisp strike so I should have mentioned probably earlier on this video this comes from it's my interpretation of a video from Alex Elliott like I said my first interpretation of it wasn't too good and I did think it was very questionable in terms of uh, the, uh, what we were looking to try and do. And there's one other element that I'd forgotten but I'll just talk about that I practiced on the tee box earlier and helps you again get that feel. Is very much tucking, so tuck a driver head cover underneath your uh, left armpit, get into that position and all you're looking to do is make sure that you keep that head cover in tucked under your arm. And what that stops you from doing basically is you don't get sort of any sort of chicken wing, you don't get any kind of disconnect from your body. So it keeps everything, I naturally just always wanna go down to that standard grip, but it keeps everything nice and tucked in and keeps it all nice and compact. The final thing that he says is obviously you can't take that driver head cover onto a golf course. So the other thing is, and I've seen pros do this, tuck your sleeve under your armpit, make sure you've sort of got it there. And it's the same thing. All you're trying to do is make sure that you keep that connection throughout the swing. It's one for me that you have to work with, you have to have a little bit of faith with it. It might take a little bit of messing around, but if you're struggling in and around the greens, it's without doubt another little tip, a little bit of nugget of information that just might help an area of the game that is super important and could possibly save you a lot of shots. Right, as ever, thank you for watching that one. It was my interpretation. As ever, Alex's full video will be down in the description box below, so go and check out Alex. If you feel you want his uh, direct information, if not, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.